And we are back on Out and About today talking all things Pride, such an incredible event that we just experienced. We are talking with Phil Cabucci, Marketing Director and Pride President-Elect Joey Leslie. We have one more segment. There's so much to talk about in this segment, but as we went to break, we were talking about the record crowds and that sort of thing. But just so that people understand how, how important and the record crowds themselves, but you estimate between 15 and 18,000 and probably more. So tell us about that. I think between, you know, we, we go into Pride planning for that number to sort of grace our gates. Um, but the fact that we ran out of wristbands, our ATMs ran out of cash, you know, part of potties were out of toilet paper, we certainly know that we exceeded, you know, probably the closer to the 20,000 mark, if not more than that. Yeah, and you know, I also noticed it seemed like people showed up earlier in the day mm -hmm. and stuck and around for the whole day. It seemed really all day. busy all day Yeah, long, we even noticed so. as we were walking across the park a couple of different times mm -hmm. that it was it was hard sort of maneuvering through the yeah. park. A, a good problem, yeah. 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 People stayed. And, and this year we know we expanded out further. I mean, mm -hmm. We were you know, further up um, Dedrick and, and expanded out and I think that that certainly has something to do with it as well. You know, there's more places for people to go. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the exciting things to see about Pride, the way that it's progressed through the years and grown and gotten bigger and better each year and that kind of thing, is um, I would say the planning, but you guys, I know at one point, or Pride was in danger. It was, it was in the red. Uh, so kind of let's talk about you guys have, have solved a lot of problems and moving <laughs> forward you're in good shape. So tell us about that, Joey. Well, yeah, it's taken a lot of people to do a lot of that work. You mentioned Pam, Brent, you've been involved. Chuck, you know, we've, it's taken a lot of people to get there. Um, and so every year, I mean, yeah, we just continue to try to raise the bar every year, if I can use that cliche, into, <laughs> you know, I think for a couple of years it was a slow climb back into, you know, the black. And now we are really working to have a rainy day fund um, each year and just kind of stock money away for the organization and then hopefully maybe, you know, turn that money back and start mm -hmm. giving back to the community in other ways if possible. Well, I know when, Phil, you were here talking pre-Pride yeah. about the sponsorships this year, they were, um, it was an amazing number that you threw out the, yeah. uh, of sponsorship dollars, which yep. we were, I mean, would have, we would have killed for that, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. That's awesome no, to be able to have that. It's truly been an incredible, uh, incredible amount of money that's come in from our sponsors mm -hmm. this year. Um, the, the way that the, the attitude has changed across Middle Tennessee companies, but then also nationally, has been really quite exciting to see. Yeah. Well, and, and talking about next year, Pride President-elect, and you said you guys are already starting to work on it and that kind of thing. I know you're just now trying to take a little breather from the success of this year's Pride, but what's in store? What's in, if someone wants to get involved, tell us a little, little bit about that. Well, definitely, we um, are always ready for volunteers to get involved. And if anybody's interested in you know, joining the board and getting involved, um, our board meetings are open. So check out NashvillePride.org um, for more information um, at any time or reach out to one of us. Um, and as far as planning goes, I mean, well, I think we're going to sleep a little bit, and then... No, you get uh, back to work this week. Aren't it? But we look tired, so... We look no, so, I mean, every year we try to have a, a good debrief as a group. You know, we definitely want to celebrate with, you know, all the board members and volunteers and yeah. have a, sort of a thank you party because there is so much work that goes into it, and it takes so many people behind the scenes um, that, you know, people you may not know that are involved. So, um, but then we kind of look at areas that could improve and how do we want to uh, take it to the next level next year and you know hopefully we'll have as good a turn of luck next year <laughs> as we have this year and if we don't it's not my fault I'll just say <laughs> that for the record now but, uh, but yeah but no doubt we, we're looking to uh, to continue improving every year sure and what's the next event coming up and I know you've always got something in the works so there's always a new fundraiser is well the, the next event is obviously is our thank you party which okay. we do every year for uh, friends with benefits but then also volunteers and anybody who's been involved with the festival sure uh, that typically takes place in August September okay um, once we've actually had a chance to you know look at what we have actually accomplished and you know see where everything's netted out uh, and then Starting in September, we start up right up again with you know getting friends with benefits out the door and, and, and joining people for the 2015-16 year. Yeah. Um, and well, I'm so glad you mentioned that because I wanted to make sure we touched on friends with benefits yeah. really quickly because I know a lot of people were asking about it. They were seeing the buttons and the stickers. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So friends with benefits is a great program that helps really lay the foundation of what we're able to accomplish in a year mm -hmm. um, financially, but it also helps lay the lay, lay the foundation for actually getting the festival off the ground and you know, getting that initial round of dollars in before corporate sponsors come in. So our Friends with Benefits members are, you know, it's a donation to Pride and then along with that comes some perks, you know, tickets to our events and, you know, VIP access and so to kind of 
jump back to your earlier question, two things, if anything, that sell out early and people always seem a little miffed up about at the end is <laughs> vendor booths and VIP. So that's yeah. two things I definitely encourage anybody who's interested mm -hmm. in, in, you know, we added more vendors this year, even yeah. we had over 150 vendors and the footprint grew even more and took a lot of reconfiguration so we could squeeze in as many as, as possible. Um, so those are two ways early, get, get with us early if you want to secure t spots in, in vendor booths or friends with benefits. Now we only have about 30 seconds left, but I was especially look at the entertainment lineup and that sort of thing. As far as looking at the upcoming entertainment lineup for next year, how much do you feel that the entertainment brings in people? How important it is, is it to have big headliners? I think it's vital. Uh -huh. I think it's vital. Uh, I think that's, you know, we're, we're Music City, so we have to have a stellar music program. Yeah. Uh, I think that's simple as that. Well, you had a great lineup this year. It mm -hmm. really was. It yeah, really was. Thank you. So, so Joey, Leslie, Phil Cavucci, you guys did a phenomenal job. Our thank hats you. are off to you. We can't say enough good things. Thank Pam you. is in the control room, just roaring. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. thank we you also guys. have to thank Jack Davis, who's been and an Jack, incredible yeah. Yeah. asset to National Pride Board. He really uh, his, has. Yeah. His help has been. All right. Thank you guys so much. We look forward to 2016. Yep. Thank you thank guys. Thank you so much. And as always, we appreciate you. And don't miss our 10th anniversary show. It is coming up. That's right. 10 years of Out and About Today coming your way next week. We'll see you then.